Uh, and the pavement is still below freezing. There's concern for refreezing overnight here. However, they've done a good job so far. It remains snowy and cold and windy here in Westminster. Snow, ice, and wind had people digging out around Baltimore from the late winter storm that led the governor to declare a state of emergency. Well, the wind, uh, it, it's gusting up. It's, I've got three layers on, so <laughs> I'm prepared for it. So I've got to clear the ice out of it. Already, some snowblowers are icing over in the wet, heavy snow in Westminster and Carroll County. It's March, and I guess warmer weather brings heavier snow. Roads were pre-treated and plows quickly got to the main ones. Still, state troopers responded to more than 100 accidents overnight. In, in addition to all the trees being covered with the heavy snow and ice, there's now winds that are causing branches to fall down and then they're blocking travel lanes. It's a very dangerous situation. From Cumberland to Ocean City, this nor'easter is still making its presence known. They were calling for about 8 to 10 inches. That's about what we got with a mixture of snow and ice, so I was prepared for it. So uh, right now, uh, as I've been saying, you really feel those wind gusts kicking up here. We've seen a lot of plows come through. That state of emergency that the governor declared allows all those state resources to come together, including the National Guard, as they continue to respond to this nor'easter event.